Hey guys, what's up? So I know you're thinking, oh man, steak is so good, but it costs so much money. Well, don't worry, not at Dollar Tree. We're going in right now, we're gonna buy some $1 steaks. We're gonna cook them up in the warehouse, eat them, see how they taste, and you're gonna watch the whole process. It's gonna be great, just like the steaks I'm sure will taste. Boom, right there, bottom row. Well, actually it was spilling out onto like the, the space between the door and the freezer section, but it's there. One of them, one left, so they must be so popular. This is gonna be great. I'm gonna love this. We're gonna have a fun time. A few things uh, while we're waiting for this delicious cut of meat to thaw. Oh God, I have to look at the back of it. Look right there, Made in USA, awesome. Stampede, great name for a beef company. 30% water. Ooh, that isn't the best. It says mechanically tenderized. Wham, wham, wham. Uh, contains 30% of a solution of water, seasonings, so I don't need my own, uh, sodium phosphate, dextrose, salt, bromelain, or bromelain, I'm not sure how to say it, and then there's an asterisk by that. They don't explain the asterisk anywhere else uh, on this packaging. Rub with seasoning, and that's two asterisks, so awesome <laughs> and then tenderized with bromelain mechanically don't forget that you dummies uh keep frozen because if you don't it'll just melt and turn into a a puddle of meat which is a crazy thing that can happen apparently um so yeah it weighs three and a half ounces right there but again a third of that almost is water is salt water is brine so like 2.2 ounces of real meat for a dollar so um, we're paying a, a buck ten. I mean, on average, I'll, I'll, I'll do. I'll do. You'll see a ding right here, and I'll do the whole. I'll tell you what it is. Um, here's the. I'll read you the directions too. Uh, remove steak. You know, you, you cook it. Who cares? So what we're doing is we're not going to use butter or any sort of lubricant. We're not going to use any seasoning because duh, it's seasoned as is. We're going to cook this in its disgusting brine, and we're gonna see how it tastes. We're gonna taste the actual meat, not the flavors, not the seasoning, we're gonna taste the meat. If you wanna see a video on how to cook a steak the right way, I made one of those two, like two years ago, I'll link to that. If you wanna see how to cook a $1 steak, aha, Chef WBK has got your order, a la mode. <laughs> Let's do this. God, this is so gross. Ugh. Ugh. God, geez, I feel like I'm picking worms out of a bucket. Okay guys, I have got the meat right here. As you can see, it uh, it does not look very appetizing. It's um, stringy, dry, smells like a pet store kind of odor. <laughs> I'm going to swallow it. Ah, it tastes like a pet store too. Mmm! I weighed it. It weighs less than one ounce, which is amazing. Uh, I mean, meat's gonna lose weight as it cooks. All meat is. But, <laughs> you know, you know, the texture. It's got this weird perforated pattern on it. Uh, that must be from the bromelain, the tenderizing that they did for me. Thank you, Stampede. Oh boy. It just doesn't look like meat. Uh, okay guys, let's go. Let's give it a try. Dollar store uh steak. That was weird.
Oh man, you get it in your nose. That's a <laughs> that's a new smell. Um, it tastes like old meat. Uh, it isn't the worst meat in the. <sighs> I'm not gonna finish that. Um, C plus? No, that's too high. D plus? Eh, yeah, yeah. Well, it, cause it is meat, but just barely. The most disgusting thing about this is while I'm eating it, I'm thinking, you know what? If I peeled a big scab off my arm and oh, fried it up, I shouldn't have said that. It would taste just like... Mm, just like this. Oh my god. Oh. Guys, if you like the video, please subscribe. About, about five minutes into that steak, I had to throw it up. Oh. Bye.